Okay, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. Now, today, Unreal Engine had a live stream with Decagon Studios, who last year, I believe, made a tutorial series, like a learning series in making this environment right here. Now, first and foremost, go ahead and download it. It's free. Go to the Epic Games Launcher, click it. It's about 18 gigs, and then come back and watch this video. But basically what I did was I just added this character that I got from the marketplace, and I packaged it up. It's about 5.8 gigs packaged up. The only setting I changed was I enabled high-quality translucency reflections. So we're going to be taking a look at that. Uh, so with that being said, we are here. I am going to be playing this in 4K resolution right now. I have this set up. And again, I just added this menu option that I got from the marketplace as well. It doesn't come with it. Originally, I'm going to turn on B-Sync. I'm going to enable that. We have it full screen at high settings right now. Apply. And I'll close this. And this environment is incredible. And again, one of the coolest things that I like that Epic does is that they make tutorial series and then they give you the assets that they create similar to the medieval environment that they gave us in 4.27. And they're doing it again with this. And this time they actually collaborated with Decagon Studio. They make assets in the Epic Games uh, marketplace as well. Uh, but with that being said, let's go check this out. Again, they actually have a series on how they created this. So check that out if you're interested. Man, I, I really wasn't planning on writing anything Western, <laughs> to be honest. But after seeing this available for us to download, man, that that might change. I just don't know. So the town is called Northwood. Um, and it has, this is using Nanite meshes and Lumen. And what I'll do is kind of just take a look at this. Because they, they look incredible, man. These assets, again, whenever you're getting these entire assets, you can also just take what you need. And I always just salvage stuff out of here. And these bushes, even in high setting, they look incredible. And I'll try to just make my mouse cursor slow so you can kind of see that. Man. Sheriff. Okay, cool. So dope. This is just dope. Man. Honestly, Epic. Epic is doing everything right right now not only teaching individuals, but also allowing individuals to play with high, high quality settings. This is a pretty dark area right here. Man, I'm running this uh, in the, so I'm running this with the RTX 4090 one. <laughs> Somebody asked me if I had two and I was like, no, I only have one, bro. So running at 80 frames per second, this is definitely playable at high settings. All right, what is that? Some kind of, uh, some kind of chair you can hang out in. Looks kind of cool, you know. You know, people back then used to actually hang out outdoors and enjoy their surroundings. This is before TV streaming. Man, these wood assets again. Freaking A. This is like an entire town. Like... And, and I was telling them, I was in the live stream, obviously. I try to make those live streams. And I was telling them, with enough depth of field, you can actually pass this and use this for a virtual production shoot. You can pass this. Yeah, you can use this for a virtual production shoot. LED, green screen, it doesn't matter. This is high quality enough. And what's crazy is, it's just going to get better. You know, it's just going to get better from here. Livery. What's a livery? Ooh, look. Got some coffins. Pretty cool. And again, I mentioned in the live stream, the, um, looks like we're still getting some pop-ups there. When I first started using 
Lumen and Virtual Shadow Maps when it first came out, like legit when it first came out, I was getting a lot of flickers in the shadows. And just within a year, Virtual Shadow Maps have gotten so much better. Even in Fortnite, when I was playing the Fortnite for the demo here on the channel, I was taking a look at those interior shadows, and you still see a little bit, no a little bit of noise. But my goodness, it has improved dramatically since the release. Look at these shadows. And yeah, the, the freaking, the RTX 4090 is eating this alive. So let's turn up the heat a little bit. I'm getting cold. So let's go to Epic settings and I'll apply this. So this is 4K at Epic. So now we're about 56 frames per second. Lot sharper. All right, let's wait for everything to load in. About 51. Still playable, in my opinion, for a first person or a first, you know, first player, non-competitive. Dipping about 49 frames per second now. This is so good. So good. I'm going to go check out this building right here. Yeah, about 40 frames per second. Looks like we have an interior, so... Let me go check that out. All right. It looks like, honestly, I, I didn't look at this in the editor. This is like my first time looking at this actual environment. It's like we do have some uh, lights in here that aren't casting shadows. Out. As you can see on the plates and stuff like that. Can I go up? All right. Yeah, I can. Look at this. That's epic. Oh, okay. Door's locked. Man, I should have opened that. Should have opened that in the editor. <laughs> I should have opened all these doors. But it's fine. This is cool. 47 frames per second. 4K. Not bad. All right. Oh, I can get in this one too? Okay, cool. Man. And what's cool about this is... I'm going to try and relate this for a night scene. Because we can hide a lot of imperfections at night. And only we can highlight the best parts of the environment. For a cinematic. For a game, this looks incredible. But my goodness. We're going to have some fun with this environment here. Okay. So um, let's go up this way. Again, I'm not sure where I'm going. I'm just walking around here. Oh, we have a church. Of course. Yo. We're going to have a church. Freaking cool. All right, here we go. Yeah, Black Fever. Uh, I can't read. I can't read that far. Oh, this church looks pretty darn cool. Gives me that uh, Kill Bill vibe right there. Ooh, that's pretty nice. Man, that's a really cool church. The attention to detail. <laughs> the crazy thing is, like, you're watching this, and the attention to detail they're putting into these little learning demos. This is just for teaching people how to create environments. The attention to detail they, they put on these environment assets are just insane, man. Insane. Oh, yep, graveyard, cool. I love it. Everything is here. Wow. Gosh, this is amazing. 38 frames per second over there. Um, Yeah, let's keep walking around. I'm sorry, I didn't add any sounds on there. I just changed, I just added a third person template and just changed the character, so. And again, I wasn't really planning on doing any Western stuff. But after seeing this environment, man, it's amazing. All right, let's take a look at the stairs. I'm just exploring this, really. They have everything pretty much set up. Graveyard, church. Oh, this is the same. Okay. So it's just another pathway. Very cool.
And yeah, it's actually set up IK for the foot. Nice. I am using the third person template, so. Yeah. Dope. All right, so we have little tracks here area. Let's enter, I think this way. Oh yeah, okay, so there's a path here. Really cool. All right, so here is, I think this is, yeah, so I, I don't think I can go past this now unless I'll jump. Um, but here's a little, wow, that looks good. That looks really good, actually. All right, so like I mentioned, I turned on high quality translucency reflections because they have water here. So right now you're not seeing it because we are at, I think, epic settings. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to flip this over to cinematics. And now you're going to see the difference. And again, this is one of my favorite features in Unreal Engine 5.1. I'm actually going to salvage this water as well because it looks amazing. I have, I am looking for an ocean system and a river system. And this right here, I am taking out of this project because it looks amazing. But yeah, I'm getting about 23 frames per second with high quality translucency reflections. And again, this is off by default. I actually enabled this in the project before I packaged it. Oh my gosh. The difference that Switch makes is amazing. All right. So I know I'm running at 20 frames per second right now, um, which is not ideal. <laughs> Definitely not. But that's pretty much the end of this video. Okay. So it looks like I'm getting some kind of shadow glitch at cinematics as well with high quality translucency reflections. But to go from that, right? to epic <laughs> you can tell the difference there okay all right let me see if i can i don't i don't know where they set up the blocking volumes oh not there okay <laughs> awesome so what i'm gonna do now is i'm just gonna find a good spot to uh to take a picture and that's, that's the end of this video. Again, if you want to download this, it is available for you to download. It's about 18 gigs. I would say 19 gigs. The actual entire project. Which, in my opinion, definitely, definitely worth it. I actually like this spot. What's going on with the shadows there? Might be like a volume that I'm kind of going through. <laughs> it might be like a post process. I'm probably outside the post process or something. Am I not supposed to be on the side? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to break it. I might have broke it, y'all. But it's fun. Gosh, this looks amazing. Oh, gosh. I am running out of hard drive space. Like, no joke. All these free assets. And by the way, let me just go ahead and mention this. Decagon also made a series, a learning tutorial series in ArtStation where they created a cyberpunk alley. Now, if they release this asset right here, this environment, it makes me wonder if they're going to release that cyberpunk alley as well because it looks fantastic. It's a lot smaller than this. But it looks amazing. So when that comes out, I'm pretty sure if it comes out, sorry, I'll make sure to make a movie about that as well. Because you know I'm going to be using that asset for sure. But yeah, that's pretty much it. What do you all think about the Northwood environment for free in the Epic Games Marketplace made by Dakagon in collaboration with Unreal Engine folks? All right. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.